the formidable robot. We are at the final peak of the spin-off series. The last part episode was released just weeks into Halloween, the known Robotronicles special, Project Overkill. It was advertised up to the max, even more than SpongeBob SquarePants specials. It only aired in early 2024, so January with the full title in the ads saying, Tales from Robotronicle, Macron, Project Overkill, In Space, Even Hell's Got a Galaxy. With special designs from Games Workshop, the people who released Warhammer 40k, or Warhammer 40,000. The episode started with the three descending into the galaxy Necron. As the three arrived, they'd immediately storm in, hacking the main gate, the main door, and finding one of the commanders. The three cleverly disguised themselves as hellish cyborgs named, Descents. As the three walked in, the biggest point was advertised and finally shown. The robotic cyborgs testing on dead corpses and making the mushroom infested psychos. C12 whispered to PC. They're setting up something big. PC added. The three slowly walked and peeked through the front of the area, the throne room. There, sitting in the throne room was a Grim Reaper designed mech suit cyborg who's named, Reaper. The three followed Reaper's movements and arrived near a corner where there was a window to look upon outside. What they found horrified them. Hundreds, thousands, millions of dead corpse psychos growling, jumping, snarling, and some even laughing. Reaper took the stand and made the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on to our time to implant taking over every galaxy for complete world domination, and no one, not a single soul will take us down, Reaper said proudly. Except us. PC said sternly as Reaper turned around. Ah, uh, the robot. PC immediately went up and gripped him by the throat with ungodly strength. Listen here, you'll be arrested. You are hereby terminated, forever mocked it. Reaper shoved PC, causing him to stagger. C-12 ran up and choked Reaper yet again. T-999 ran up and landed a punch in the stomach. Then, the three managed to land a combo punch in the body, causing Reaper to stagger backwards and fall into the pool of dead zombified psychotic cyborgs. PC grabbed the microphone and made an announcement. Listen up, you are all corrupted into the minute zombified psychos only fueled on the cybernetic blood of the innocent. Surrender now, or you'll soon rot to the very nature of your existence. All of the psychos looked at each other and then looked at Reaper. Reaper was stammering, trying to tell them and convince them that they were lying, but it was too late. Each psycho grabbed a weapon and each of them killed each other or themselves. All three watched as Reaper was standing there. Reaper, in a fit of rage, grabbed his scythe from his back. Now you'll get your grim wishes! Reaper shouted, charging at the three. Each three landed powerful hits on Reaper with punches and kicks. In what could be called as the final send-off, PC and C-12 pinned Reaper to the wall as T-999 approached Reaper and said, You'll never be like us, nor would you control us. Wonder why? We are powerful, and we are the motherfucking Robotronical heroes, and we stand for cybernetic rights. Before shoving his arm into Reaper's chest and ripping his heart off, before shoving it into Reaper's mask, Reaper gargled before collapsing on the side. The three, managing only small wounds, gathered in the ship and started flying. Four weeks later was shown as it showed the three going into new galaxies with new features. What's on the next planet, Sarge? PC said, mentioning T-999. Next! C-12 asked. T-999 looked upon the stars as outlines of the original Robotronical heroes were shown, giving equal winks before vanishing. Wherever the galaxies take us, wherever the ship sails into the cosmos, we will go to newer locations and new worlds unlike any other, just like our old heroes. T-999 said proudly before credits played. In the end, Robotronical was a series that intentionally had its ups and downs, failed, revived itself later on with new cyborgs, and wherever the galaxies take us, wherever the stories we tell come from, we know for sure that whatever happens next for Robotronical or any story, 
It'll sure to be told for years to come.